I have, well, I have fond memories of line dancing from when I was a kid. My parents were big into um, Middle Eastern folk dancing. And there was one song that I remember, and everyone would get in the line, and everyone was like, and having fun, and the pinkies <laughs> would get involved. Yeah. And I don't know, this one doesn't seem, it's a memory I have, and it doesn't seem Middle Eastern, but do you remember this song? Maxima. <laughs> And there was really fun line dancing to it. I'm gonna say underrated. Line dancing, we need to bring line dancing back. I have not been invited to a cuddle party, but I'm pretty sure the wife would not approve. She would say cuddling is cheating. If I got caught cuddling, you know what I mean? That, oh. It's pretty intimate. You can say, no, there was no transfer of fluids, my darling. She would say, <laughs> fuck you with the fluids. <laughs> Cuddle is even worse than having sex. But I said my darling. Because you have fucking shared souls and hearts and love. Yeah. <clears throat> but sometimes I'll cuddle Cage when, uh, yeah. when I'm frightened. I think uh, underrated. Sounds like a good idea. Why not? It's better than Cuddle look. party? Yeah. It's a party and the whole party's just cuddling? Yeah, I might have one. You know where that's leading. Or yeah. Hung tats. Got to be overrated. I don't have any tats. And if I did get one, it would not be on the tongue. I'm, I've already staked out some real estate, left butt cheek. Really? Little devil. A cute little oh, devil. Oh, that would be fun. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now that tenacious DJs, well, tenacious DJ is something that we've been talking about for a long time. We've done a little bit of tenacious DJing, but it is the greatest gig of all time. If you're a good DJ, yeah, you just fucking show up you just in like, a, with a briefcase, get on a first class plane to Budapest visa. or wherever you're going. You fucking, Fly into a visa. Fucking, and they love you. All you have to do is fucking pretend like you're doing stuff. You don't stuff. even have to do stuff anymore. <laughs> Do you remember we saw Skrillex and they had the spaceship oh, on yeah. stage? He didn't need to do all that. He no, did all that extra Just stuff. press play. There's an amazing Danzig mashup right now. Danzig and who's the one with the, the hips don't lie? Uh, uh, Shakira? Shakira and Danzig. Holy shit. Shakira, Shakira. That shit is underrated. I'd rather watch Shakira and Danzig collaborate actually than Tenacious D and Danzig. Tenacious Dan Danzig is kind of a hat on a hat. Shakira and Danzig, that, yeah, that's, that's, a some, that's a new flavor there. You know, I saw her live, and it's true. Her hips don't lie. Oh. Mayonnaise ice cream? No. That can't be good. That's oranges and steak or something. It's Although, you know, there was a time, there's a, I got a favorite hamburger joint in LA, Apple Pan. And they serve apple pie, and you can get it a la mode with, with a delicious scoop oh, of iced oh. cream, or you can get it with a slice of Tillamook cheddar cheese, oh, oh, yeah. which just sounds so wrong to me. It's no. like, why? Why would you ever put a slice of cheese on an apple pie when you've got ice cream right there? But then I realized, wait a second, you know what I love is an apple slice with a little bit of cheese. Why wouldn't I like apple pie with a little bit of cheese? And I said, I'll have the apple pie with Tillamook cheese. And I ate it and it was fucking delicious. So maybe mayonnaise ice cream is the same thing where it sounds so wrong, but I'm trying to think of like a time that I've ever had mayonnaise and ice cream together. You've never had it because no Wait. one No. Mm. Oh, uh, ice cream sandwich, yeah. Well, sex, uh, many times is probably a good idea. Why not the shower? You're already clean. A lot of times the lady makes me take a shower before, you know, so you might as well just cut to the chase, I guess. Well, I have an opinion on mm -hmm. the subject, as a matter of fact, because shower sex, uh, you think, oh, that's gonna be great because uh, the water's flowing all the time. Mm. Except for one thing, water is like one of the worst lubricants. <sighs> it, it takes the, the, the lubrication away mm. and replaces it with just water. Uh, so if you could somehow 
get some lube piped in to the shower in addition to the water, then I would, but then it would be very dangerous. You could slip and fall and die. I think if you were pre-lubed though. I'm gonna say so shower sex, overrated. And the water and the lube probably would. Overrated, as well as jacuzzi sex. Don't recommend oh. it. Don't recommend it. Nothing. And also, dude, come on. You just spooged in the jacuzzi. Someone's got to, someone's got to, now I got to fucking, how do you yeah, clean it? All you can't clean it. You got filters and the bubble. It's like swallowing gum. It's in there for fucking years. They get, they get uh, aroused yeah. by a hologram? Yeah. I don't say that's overrated. The, those people need to get out more. Why? What's wrong with uh, a hologram? Yeah, it's the future of sex. Yeah. Uh, well, I could get into more of a sex machine, perhaps, but a hologram, I mean, what are you going to do with it? You can't have inner or outer course with it. Well, look, this is going down a weird road, but I don't really want to go down this road, sure. but if you've ever been in a situation where you were watching some... Uh, Let's say you wandered into a, um, a risque nightclub that, that featured a uh, dancing, like a, what do you call that kind of dance? Burlesque. Burlesque, exactly, burlesque, classy. Yeah, classy. Um, and then you're watching the burlesque dance, but then there's eye contact with the dancer and you feel mm -hmm. shy and embarrassed and like, I oh, shouldn't be looking. But if it's a hologram, mm -hmm. there's no consciousness there. So you can stare and just drink up with your yeah. eyes to your heart's content and never feel that weird shame of like, oh. <laughs> so there's one advantage to, yeah. to hologram boners. I'm with you, underrated.